I think Aura PH Comfortable sila Sa ganitong lineup Aura PH ako kaya Shin Ikaw ba? Actually Even me I, I would stick with, uh, with Aura PH here oh. Piling ko masyado uh, With this uh, classic ano, uh, PNK uh, And ano, And uh, Selena pick no? Just to establish uh, Just to establish Great pressure Pero ano eh You can react on it It's not something na, uh, alam mo yun, totally pwede mong kayaan na And, oh. ano ginawa ni Kel BJ? Kinuha ka agad yung buff, naka-sneaky siya. Walang oh, buff si Hill. Walang buff si Hill, pero nakakuha ng first blood si Chakno, ha? Si oh. Chakno ang magiging ano dito. Kaya Shinbu, uh, magiging uh, so, uh, support, papaling Coop, ha? Meanwhile, uh, Benny Cutie trying his best to negate this little undertake. Okay? Grabe, mm -hmm. okay. They're dancing around, ha? Goes for greed, andun si Chakno. At little wonder, pangalim pinaglalabanan, pero... Tol, just want to get back. The new oh, rotation oh. ni Kel BJ, yun na yun. Napakalaking deal breaker na yun kaagad against the Ling. Kay Ling, oo oh, oh, nga. You, you want the Ling to have all of the buffs as much as possible uh, under 5 minutes, under the early game. And even though nakakuha yung XN ng isang kill, lamang ng 300 yung aura because of that buff, mukhang manggugulo lang si Kel BJ dito. Meron pa rin nang nangyayaring laban sa mid and mukhang lamang dito yung aura, Raflesh ha? Raflesh ha, let's see here, there is gonna be the arrival mula sa side dito ng aura. Kiluwas mga kaibigan, biglang pumasok na. At binura, siguro naman dito yung aso ni Q, na aso ni Q pa. But I think that's it. No, um, one for one naman tayo. Finally, we have a very stable game na. And mm -hmm. still, ayan, aura here, despite the obvious strength ng opposition ng execration, we're able to really get the, the rotation. Yes. And not really give up too much. Despite then the, the early damage na meron. Oh, ang ano? Okay. Uh, XE. Ang XE, mataas ang early damage ng XE, pero I think ang hindi rin natin expect dito is the two-man arrival na meron. Ang Aura PH, Shinbu. Arrival is back, parang binalik nila bigla to. Kanina, kanina yung DG yun, hindi natin expect, but this time, Ang taas ngayon ng defense potential talaga ng Aura because mo kanina yung nag-arrive sa minion, ang isang hero ng Aura PH, they really want to negate the the early game push na gustong gawin ng Exe. Yeah. And we all know that this arrival is mastered by 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 this team. This Aura PH, Exe right now without the buff na meron ngayon si uh, Kuya Hate. Uh, mamaya sa part natin siguro makikita yung gusto nilang mangyari na mambugbog na mambugbog kasi Shin, look at this, may nakaw na naman yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, let us observe, uh, there is gonna be the other steal si oh. JP naman nakakuha doon fight breaks out, win talaga lumaban yung execration no? kahit yung objectives yata medyo wala na here comes Kiluwas, embrace on to Chaknu Oh. Really surprised at the end is rolling on a PNK hero here. Sa gitno, the willing up, lapit dito, flicker out. Dun naman si Eto, Max Squad, Shadow na nila bas. And JP here, just dancing around. Pero yun na yun. 1 for 0 and the buff is still taken in by Aura. Ang dami na nakukuha ng Aura dito. Lito Wanderers plus another turtle and another buff. Napakagandang timing. 2 minutes 43. Nakuha nila yung buff ni Ling. Ibig sabihin... Pwersado si Hate pumunta sa baba para makakuha ng farm. Hirap siya ngayon umakyat akyat sa dingding. Dahil syempre, best ang purple buff para sa Ling. Kasi gusto mong maximum uptime yung, uh, yung white bars mo doon sa bottom side. I think for execration, kailangan nila makapitas. As in ngayon na. Parang ganito, yes, Sinbu. Yes, they have good capacity to actually make pitas. They have the Selena ka agad, di ba? Uh. And uh, they still have the show for it. Ah, uh, ganun na lang. I think divide ng cooker sa totoo oh. lang para sa oh. akin sa execution. Oh, oh. Execution is what can rise tall for ano eh. For yeah. team fights eh. Yeah. Team fight talaga. Let's let the let's the play. Clutch retry na naman. Two retries for the side of execution na kuha yon ni Kel BJ. It's either Kel BJ or JP that part. And again, without any purple buff on the link. Yeah. Alam mo mahirap siya mag-juggle eh. And yeah. man that's a good recall. That's a good oh, recall mula dun sa ating Gillette Instant Replay then. Shin, before the Gillette Instant Replay, I just want to take note that after na namatay si Kiel BJ, instant TP si Kuluwa siya top lane because he knows that Exec will push it. Babasagi na sana nila yung top kanina, pero with the arrival play again, negating the damage, wala pang nababasag. It, it seems like na expect natin na Exec yung magbibigay ng aggressive moves. Pero Aura PH with the, with the objectives and with the defense, walang nababasag yung XC. Yeah. Ang dami yeah. nilang vision, pero parang sila yung natatalo sa pagnakaw eh. Ito uh, 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 kasi, ito uh, yung Aura talaga. Like, expect them to really execute these team fights. 
expect them to do it a very precise manner. Pero JP, gets ko na piling ko maganda to. Shell BJ will be left for dead on that part kasi kapag nawala na yung main damage talaga pa rin ko mabati dito yung execution of the likes of team that will be continuing to do. Nahuli pa yung ninja sa dulo. Tapos yun, there goes greed. Naka-answer din at namatay yung greed dito. Wala kay Chaknu. So yeah, two for one. An execration naman. By the way, question, that is a 2 for 2 pala. 2 for 2. Okay, oh. I think Eto Max was down on that part, pero kanina pa hinahanap ni Hate sa wakas. Oo, kanina pa hinahanap ni Hate. Grid, pulado siya dito. Tatama ka siyang trap. Okay, maka-tapay si Eto Max, you go. May mga commitment ng mali dito yung ano. Yung aura. Real talk, sana manali yung execration. Para mag-game train, kasi parang feeling ko. Ano eh. Parang dinaya tayo dun sa game 1 lang. Parang... Sobrang hype na hype. Parang hindi counted yung game 1 eh, no? Pero, pero men, if the game allows it, MPL allows it, di ba? Yun na yun. And again, I like the utilization of the eyeball. Oon lang sa canon, minion. Hindi sa tower, pero sa minion. We've seen the arrival plays na ginagamit pang, pang response. But this time, Aura, they just want to negate the push. Yes. And yes. Si Hate dito, level 7. Yung kalaban niya ngayon, level 9. Yes. Ganun, na-delay si Hate. Kanina pa yung yes. nahanap yung opportunity to pick off. Kasi they want to, to, to be aggressive. They want to... Ayan, no? They, that's, they, that, they, that, that's, that's, that, that's very oh. punishing. Ganun lang talaga. Not just on the link, but all compositions where link is concluded. Maganda dito si Sagitnu. No, naka-blade armor na siya. So, hindi nyo pwede kang basta-basta din kakalmot dito. If you are KLBJ and even if you are Rapla, siya kiluwas. Oo, medyo mahihirapan sila. Kasi ako nag-agree ako sa Shin na kapag nagdating, tumating sa 5-on-5 team fight, I think mas better yung lineup ng execration. Ang dami nilang control, kailangan nila nila mabigyan ng space. Itong si Kaibigang Hate. Meanwhile, ito Max. Pero ko lang, yung mga single pickups, medyo nakakakuha ng ano, ng lamang yung execution. Like for Ben, hindi nakakuha siya ng C. But there is, ito Max, nadali rin naman ng Aura PH. Medyo lumalayo na tayo ngayon sa 5v5 team fights. So more on talagang, alam mo yun, sakalan. Yeah. <laughs> ng magkakitaan itong dalawang teams natin whether it's 2v2 whether it's 3v1 or 1v1 even e, e, iniisa-isa eh no iniisa-isa ang Aura PH uh, ang execration na napuforce ang execration mag-response to the point na may naiiwan na rin na lane and with the arrivals nga na meron ng Aura pwede sila mag tp lang so ngayon nandun tayo sa third turtle Shinbu agresibo pa rin ang Aura wala pa nagkakabasagan sa mid pero look at the gold lead 2K pa din in their favor. Men, hindi ko na alam eh. Aura, I'm giving us something new. This is just a surprise. Patayin natin ang big breakup ng labad dito. Kiluwas sa may pinakagitna. Pinipigilan ni Chuck na dito. Hapang pinapadala niya ang kanyang aso. Pero kiluwas sa pinakagitna ng inferno para makasustain. Tumahan naman ang avatar of guardians sa may pinakagitna. And that's it. Sa gitno. So kanya pala out of damage. Sa pagkumatrabaho pa rin si Hate. Maybe can respond. Maybe after dyan. Na makuha niya yung kanyang purple buff. Pero tapos na rin ang laban. And everyone can walk away with only JP as the casualty. Yes, JP going down, execration, eventually, slowly but surely, they want to get the kills and pick-offs. Ngayon pa lang, nagkaroon ng endless battle si Hate. Look at the gold right now ng mga side lanes. Kuya Shinbu, 5,700 para kay Kiluwash. Hate for 5. Mas mayaman pa ngayon si Benny Cutie. Yeah. Ganon ka na kay Benny Cutie. Benny Cutie was able to, ano eh, to get consistent pick-offs solo. Okay. Actually, one of my favorite players from Execration is Benny Cutie. He's really stellar. He made his debut back in Season 5 on that show. Yes, same. Same din ako. Isa sa mga X-Factors ng side ng Execration. Actually, Execration is known to have the chemistry as well kapag grind time na and mukhang gagawin nga nila dito to. Raplesia po lado, pero men, parang hindi pinipilit ng aura yung laban. Parang ang nangyayari is Execration is the one coming in And then, nagre-react yung Aura to the point na na-outplay nila yung Exe, napipitas nila yung Exe. And that's why the, the lead might not be that clear. Pero siguro dahil nakabantay talaga yung Execration onto uh, JP. Kasi fundamentally, si JP pa rin naman talaga yung malaking source ng damage dito na pwede yes. ibuga, ibuga ng, ano, ng uh, Aura. Yes. And hindi ganun kayaman si JP. If I'm not mistaken, nasa 3K lang yung pera niya kanina. At ayun na nga, ito yung sabi mo. Sabi na. Exe, Exe, Factor. Benny Cutie. Benny Cutie, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
getting the way of the dragon, getting the BOD, and getting the endless battle right now. So, X, yes. ini-install lang nila yung laban, Shinbu. Magkakadami siya nila later on. Yes. To mention, Benny QT has a very consistent KDA here, ha? 2-0-4. Oh. You know, oh, so, hindi biro yung pwedeng bato ni Benny QT dito. I cannot but feel that he can take on anyone in 1v1 pa. And maybe under the turret na ginawa. Dito sila hate. Don't for Chuck Noob. Ang ina-dive ay dalawa mismo mula sa Aura PH. Ang dalawa hinahamig dito mula sa execration, mga kaibigan. Parang ramdam ang isang alta pressure sa makapal na batok. Hapang lumapit dito si Eto Max, he will be destroyed kaagad. And now, there's the member of Aura PH, Kiluas. Dive for sa Gitno, Counter and Inferno. Oh, Actually, explain na nga eh. Chuck Noob na lang yung lilikuran niya with the slaughterous sites and JP ang bubura dun sa nakatakas na gata. Ah, uh, arrival. Da a a a eto Shina, kaya ako lost for words. I'm not really sure kung double arrival yon, Kasi, hindi nakikita yung patong ng arrival eh. Yes. Kapag oh. sa isang lunit pinamit. Oo. So may nag arrival kanina sa bottom. Let's look at the Gillette instant replay. Nandito si Ayun. Ah, tumobol arrival nga. Tumobol arrival. Biglang naging dalawa eh, no? Si Grid at saka si Kiluwash. Biglang naging dalawa. So, ganun yung ano, playstyle ng aura. Divide and conquer na lang. Hindi talaga yung parang obvious yung engagement nila. They fully utilize the arrival just to respond on any aggression ng ano, exec. Ang exec. In-expect kasi nila na we all know that exec, they want gamol place. They want suntukan place. Just like this. And sabi ng aura, ayaw namin. We have, we have the defense. But again, again, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Masyadong slow pace ang laban for exec to handle. No? Parang hindi sila sanay na ganito ka-slow yung nangyayari. But then again, kapag umabot tayo sa scaling in the late game, I am, I am sure enough na ang taas ng damage output ng XE. Ang nangyayari lang na outwit sila ng aura eh. Yeah, it's heavy here. Avatar of Guardian ginamit na dyan. Tapos ang isa pang binagsak, karamihan na espada mula dito sa lane hate na ngayon. Dito makikita natin si JP, hinabol lang aso. Oh, no, takbo mga kaibigan, pero wala na siyang maabutang lupa. Grid here na sumagot at sumagupa. Last Insanity will be used defensively. And that's the fire missiles to be used. Naging gate kagad bigla yung si Lina. Habol kay Chakno. Hindi makakadikit dito. As Kiluwa, she's also handed on to him. 3-4-2. Beautiful fight coming in from these two teams. Sa toa lang man, Jim. I really thought that Execration won that fight na. Pero, man, I think they overextended. Kasi they underestimated the, the capability of Kiluwash. Mataas na rin yung damage ni Kiluwash. Execration, they've been winning fights after fights. Pero unti o yung nakabawi yung aura. And I think kailangan din nilang inigate yun. Parang ang nangyayari kasi, yung play, gigil, gigil sila, makakil eh. No? Sina, sina Kuya, Sina Kuya, Sina Kuya Chaknu. Parang pwede pa, pwede pa. Ganun yung mangyayari to the point na pwede silang ma-outplay. I think... Para sa excess, stall sila, pitas ng isa, and then easy out. Just like this. Yeah. Yan, natuto na sila. Huwag na mag-overextend, pwede pa natin mabaliktad tong laban na to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, actually, ito na yung execution na hindi basta so good din eh. That's what makes them really good na. Uh -oh. Kasi, uh -oh. alam mo yun, hindi na sila yung talagang umaasa lang sa action at galaw. Uh -oh. And maybe, dahil ka sabi mo, nag-reform execution on someone na marunong huminga, maybe they will be the one who will take a breather and maybe answer properly against Aura. Bura! Oh. Si Kilo. There you go! Nag-audition at may TP na nga! Wow! Yun yung combo ni ano eh, Insection? Ang Insection eh! Oo, so yun yung ano eh! Kulang! Kulang yung combo nito yung mga players! Kulang po yung pinipindot! Kung naglalaro to ng mga PC games, nagtatab to! Pero hindi tinitingnan yung scoreboard! Nakailang TP eh! Nakasampu ata na TP muna bago bago nag Way of the Dragon pabalik! Oo! Sana may damage yun eh, pero... I like this still. Execration now winning this one from a slow-paced game. Aura PH. Ah, na isa isa sila sa bawat isang ang wala na silang may defense sa Hanshin. Game three, game three, game three, bro. Game three, game three. Execration. Sabi nila, hindi nyo naman kami pwede ba yung defense ng batae ni Aura? Oh, oh. Quick, quick nyo lang kami. Quick, dalisa yun. Connect dali, sa inyo lang Connect kami. Connect dali, sa inyo lang kami kanina ng digi. Okay. Sabi nyo, kung, kung, kung kwek-kwek kayo, ka, sa amin, yung, yung malaking, yung ano, ano yung ba? penoy. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya dito, men, execration, three crucial pick-offs from the top, mid, and bottom side. Yes, and yes. with that, nakuha sila ng space and na-realize na nila na wag, naman, wag na tayo manggigil. After the pick-off, stay in lane and then push. Push and, out. Yeah. Uh, Benny Cutie is really good on the show here. Uh, oh. With the mini you know, he can kick anyone and Lord. it will be a very massive pick-up. It will su 
someone will suffer big damage kasi laha, lahat mili eh. Diba? Oh, oh. Eh. Oh, oh. So, ibang orang, klase. Eh. Ibang klase, ibang klase, ibang klase. Oh my glove. 19 to 13. Sabi dito ng execration, it's time for us to take the Lord. Ayun na nga. Isa-isang pumipitas ang exe. Shin, mukhang mangyayari na ang wish natin na game number 3. Aura PH bigla silang nag-collapse after those three crucial pick-offs. And nawawala na sila ng damage output. Yeah, there's a lot of crits for that monster kill already spinier by Benekuning. At hindi lang damage output na lang nawawala. Kahit yung mismong membro talaga. Apat oh. na membro lang, binura, double kill pa, nakuha sa paa dito ni Benekuning. Hindi pala apat, lima, with the wipeout security. Here. And look at Chuck Finger with the Chibug Zet here for the top lane inhibitor carrier that will destroy that one along with the bottom lane din na parating na rin si Hate. And I think this, the timers are too long. I think this is the game. It's too long. It's the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we got what we wish. We are...